Mac and cheese. And here with this special twist is John DeLucci, executive chef at the Waverly Inn and the soon to open Lion Restaurant here in New York. Good morning. Good morning. Because one of the things about the Waverly Inn is very comfortable inside. Yes, it is very comfortable. Right? Yes. Very cozy Much in like there. This dish, yes. And this is really about yummy, comfort, feel good. Food. food for a cold day. Exactly right. I, I like to look at that. So this is no simple mac and cheese. This is a little bit different. Little, Which one are we going to make first? We're going to make it from scratch. It's not a. It's not a. You know, it's not the blue box. All right. All right. <laughs> so I have fl some flour here, which right. you, can, you can just toss in there. But first, so I, I have butter, and butter, onions, butter and onions. And, uh, yeah, diced right. onion and, and some so butter. they're not caramelized. This is just, no, just soft, right. not brown. So nope. we're going to throw a little butter yep. in there. Yep. We make, make a make what's called a roux. All right. We got your right. roux. And I'm going to. Well, I'm going to do this a little bit. And you're going to add the Dijon. Oh, there it is. There you go. Yep. And that's just gonna make, give it a little more thickening power and yeah. some and a little bit of uh, a spice. Little zest, yeah, a little right? zest, a little zing. That can't hurt. Zest and zing, mm. which is important for mac and cheese. And I'm gonna mm. turn this up a little bit. All right. All right, which is that way. I can't get used to this. I'm looking at, so it's got to be milk, right? Yes. No, we got milk. We've taken some, oh, some milk here. Oh, you got hot milk. Hot milk. Right. Ooh, dude. All right. All right. Just give me a little bit of Tabasco right now, please. A little? Just a little bit. A Not little? A little, a little bit. Well, as much as you want. <laughs> there you go. What? All right. Come on. All right. Good. All right. So we and get some salt. Pinch of salt, and a little bit of nutmeg too. All right. Give the nutmeg. Uh, we got it. And well, I'm going to add the milk while you're doing that. All right. We'll do it the same time. There we go. All right. Great. Now this is going to thicken. And over here we have our uh, cheese. Right. So you make this and we're using kind of really, re the, the, the real roux first, yeah, this is, yeah, right? This is going to cook out. Yeah, this is going right. to take a little while. It'll take a little while. A little hotter temperature. Yep. Uh, it's getting there. Getting it's getting there. there. I'll do this. Do that. So would you just dump it all in I'm or gonna, just yeah. kind of Go ahead, you can flake it in? And I'm going to do it a little at a time yeah, while, okay. you're, while you're mixing. All right, this is good. Oh, this go. is working. There you go. Oh, there's a good smell to that. Yep. With the Tabasco. Tabasco and the and nutmeg. And with the nutmeg right. and with the Dijon mustard. And here, whoops, here I have a little bit of truffle I'm going to put in right now, too. Ooh. All right, this is black truffles. These are from Paris or France. What are, what are uh, truffles going for these days? These are about 12 or about 1,000 bucks a pound. <laughs> You can have them every every night for dinner. Look at this. So how much is it, a bad boy like That's this? That's about one? 300 bucks. Maybe yeah. a little more. Put that right back. Right. So with, right. I'm gonna take the pasta. While you're doing that, I'm gonna add okay. the pasta. All right. All right. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and now it's starting to look mac and cheese. Look at that. And this is about a pound. Yeah. Or so. Yeah. Now you get We do. You can do the. You know, mac and cheese is a blank canvas. You can do any kind of cheese and. Mm -hmm. And so they now it's just yeah, better right, to switch right. to this now. Yeah, you're so right. You're so <laughs> correct. Now, would you bake this for a while? Yeah, we're gonna. You can oh, bake. and then as soon as you incorporate it. all that, it's right. gonna go right here. Right. Do you need a towel? You got it. I'm getting it. There you go. I'm okay. getting it. And that's it. Oh. Oh, that looks like mac and cheese. Here we go. <laughs> and I have the truffle right here. Yeah. If you don't mind giving me the little cheese slicer. Just a, let's. No, that is the other one. This one, there the cheese go. slicer. Uh, there you go. Oh, you're gonna be liberal with this. Exactly. Oh my lord. All right, and then we're gonna go right in the oven. Right down here. All right, then. I got that. So you put, so you don't put, the, you don't leave the truffles till after it's out. You put it in. I put it in, in before it goes in. Right. And in again. And then when a few it comes more's out. out. Okay. Exactly. All right. All so right. here we have three different mac and cheeses. Yeah. We have the truffle one we just made. Yeah. This is chorizo and manchego cheese, and this is a uh, blue cheese and uh, red peppers. Oh, do you mind if I taste no, let's, this let's one? Let's do that. So this one. Let's bring them back here so we can. So this is chorizo. Yep. And what's the cheese? Machengo, Machengo. which is a Spanish uh, sheep's milk cheese. That's pretty good. I like that one. Oh, this is rocking. <laughs> this is totally, totally, and this one is totally rocking. This is a goat cheese. Yeah. And um, roasted peppers. Rocking the house, dude. Thanks, man. Thank we you. Really appreciate it. John DeLucci, thanks for more. <clears throat> <laughs> Chef John's recipes, My go food. to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. That's right, you just need a little milk to wash down your mac and cheese.